So the name of this beauty is The Bell. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the two-tone siding. Gives a kind of a wood look on the darker colors. I can see a beautiful porch there. Um, on the front, it had, this home has two dormers on the front. Looks like it's got nice lighting because of the windows. But you've got a built-in entryway here. And I think it would be even more better if it had a front porch attached to it. Maybe a closed-in porch. So let's go in and take a look. See if this one is open. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at the entryway, you guys. Beautiful wood in the entryway. You can put a nice bench here or an entry table. Do something real nice. Take a look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So this is the front door where we came in. I'm gonna step back so you can see. Let's close the door so you can. Close the door so you can really see. This is the entryway. Look how much space you have in the entryway. Beautiful. So as you come into the house, this is what greets you. This beautiful living room, hardwood floors, ample space. As you see, there's a couch and a love seat, two end tables, and a coffee table. I love the, co the color. Coffered ceilings and a ceiling fan. And you've got this beautiful space here for your television. So with this archway, you could do a lot with it. There could be a picture here. You can mount your TV on the wall. It has an arched look. And then you have cabinet space at the bottom. I love the contrast between the colors uh, on the inside of that archway and on the outside. So let's move around to the dining room, y'all. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at the kitchen and dining room together. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. First into this dining room, you got a lot of space for a dining room table. This is a huge table, you guys. So you got your table here. If you had a table that had an insert, you could absolutely take, put six, eight, maybe even 10 chairs because there's plenty of space around the table. If you wanted to do something bigger, got these beautiful ceiling to floor windows here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You've got a island that you can put bar stools at. Now this is a fairly low island. It's not a tall island like uh, in some islands are. This is fairly low. So I noticed that they have the lower stools there. You have the farmhouse sink in the island. And look at the cabinet space. Beautiful. Beautiful hutch over the stove. This is a, something that I haven't seen in a lot of the homes. This has a lot of upgrades, you guys. You've got your glass top stove. Beautiful backsplash. You could absolutely have that black backsplash extended around. You've got a, a, a window in um, the wall here. Lots of cabinet space. Tall cabinets too, look. You've got a pantry area over here by the fridge. I'm gonna walk around so you can see. Got a pantry area by the fridge. And just look at all the cabinets. And then 
These cabinets are like an antique white. They have somewhat of a distressed look, which I absolutely love. I think they're beautiful. In the island, you have your dishwasher next to the sink. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Gorgeous kitchen, love it. Let's take a look in the master bath, master bedroom. Large master bedroom. There's a ceiling fan in this master bedroom. Here's your closet. Now this closet, this master closet is long, but it's huge, absolutely huge. Double windows. Master bath has plenty of counter space. Look how big this master bath is. So you got double sinks. You've got a makeup counter in the middle. Lots of cabinet space. Each counter has the three side cabinets and then the bigger cabinets in the middle. You've got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful walk-in shower with an option for a window. Love the shower head in here. Beautiful. So the step in, and this is a, a really big shower, you guys. It has a place to, a stool to, a place to sit. And you've got two shower heads. So you have one that you could take off the wall and then you have the rain shower, shower head. Gorgeous. You've got glass here so you don't get anything wet. Soaker tub behind the door. You've got shelving space for plants or pictures or whatever you like. And then the place where all the magic happens is in a separate room with a window so you can open the window. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we'll take a look at the other bedrooms. That bathroom is beautiful. Before we go over to the other bedrooms, let's take a look at the utility closet. This closet is huge, you guys. It has a back door. There's your space for the washer and dryer. All right, beautiful back door. You can close that door off so nobody sees it. You have, that's for your heating and air unit there. But you also have your hot water heater in here as well. In my home, it's in the master closet. So it's really nice to see that it has a special separate place. Huge, huge utility room. I was thinking too that behind this door you could put shelving and have extra space for like a pantry area or you can put your hamper there, whatever you like. Let's walk around to the other side. Beautiful. This is more of a home than a manufactured home. This has nice drywalls. This is a heavier drywall than a regular manufactured home. Um, so you feel more comfortable with pictures. This is the bedroom number three. This is more of a square bedroom. Beautiful. Walk-in closet there. This is the second bath. Nice space on the counter, tub and shower. And this is bedroom number two. Beautiful.
And there's the closet. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies, and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. I 